radiological hazard warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the San Diego County Office of Emergency Services. A dangerous chemical spill has occurred on an intersection separating Scandia Plaza and Sports Arena Boulevard. At this time, it is believed that a truck lost its brake line, crashed into a street lamp on the intersection, and exploded into a raging inferno that is now sending hazardous chemicals into the air. Chemicals are now leaking onto the road as this message is being sent out. It is unknown what the properties of these chemicals are, an investigation is being done to determine what they are. Residents within a two-mile radius are in immediate danger as a result. At this time, around 28 people have been killed in the accident, as well as another 35 injured from the fire, smoke, and chemicals. At this time, all residents within the two-mile radius are to evacuate the area immediately, and are urged not to return home. If you are outside of the radius, you are urged to avoid the area at all costs, as to avoid exposure to the chemicals. Stay tuned for updates on this developing situation. Repeating, a chemical spill has been reported at the intersection of Scandia Plaza and Sports Arena Boulevard, and hazardous chemicals are now being catapulted into the air. Take action now to stay safe. An administrative message from the San Diego County Office of Emergency Services. The following message is transmitted at the request of the San Diego Office of Emergency Services. The chemical spill that occurred several hours ago, as well as its devastating effects to life and property, has tapered off and dissipated out of the area. At this time, well over 62 casualties have been reported from the chemicals. The area is now safe to return to. Even though the chemicals have cleared out of the warned area, there may still be spotty areas where solid chemicals lay near the crash site. You may return home, but be mindful of the fact that there are still chemicals on the ground in isolated areas. Avoid any areas marked hazmat. Authorities would like to thank you for your cooperation during this emergency. We will now return to regularly scheduled programming.
the following message is transmitted at the request of the San Diego Police Department. This is a civil danger warning for the entirety of San Diego. Reports of extremely dangerous cat-like creatures were made around the entirety of San Diego. At this time, these cat-like creatures were reported attacking and killing any living organism in sight. These cats are described as being extremely aggressive, making moaning or roaring sounds, standing above seven feet tall, and possessing extreme speed, running down and brutally killing their victims in seconds. At this time, all residents in the city of San Diego are to stay indoors, away from any exterior doors, windows, walls, and fireplaces. These cat-like creatures are also known to be able to move heavy objects, as well as bust down walls with their heads, paws, and tails. If you are face to face with one of these creatures, run away as fast as possible, and get into a secure structure. Bring all essential supplies with you to your shelter, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, and a battery-powered radio. Stay tuned for more updates, by tuning into your favorite source of media, to get updated information as the situation develops. Civil danger for the entirety of the state of California. The following message is transmitted at the request of the California State Highway Patrol. The situation involving the massive cat creatures has escalated. The massive creatures, as well as a disease harmful to any feline-based animal, has spread into several cities in the state of California. These cities include Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, Sacramento, Bakersfield, Clovis, and Anaheim. These cities are in immediate danger, as these cats have grown to over 30 feet in height, and have gotten aggressive enough to the point, where they show no mercy towards any living creature. These cat-like creatures have also developed a carnivorous taste towards any living animals, including humans. It is speculated, that these cat-like creatures, as well as the newly developed virus, will spread to surrounding areas in the next six hours. All residents in the state of California are to seek shelter indoors at this time, and are strongly encouraged not to leave for any reason. If you do so, you are putting yourself in extreme danger, and will be facing certain death. Continue to monitor local media outlets for updated information as the situation develops. Repeating, all residents of California are to seek shelter now.
that stage light, go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling, chasing dreams since I was 14 with the Fortran busting. Halfway across that city with the back, 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 crush shit labels out. A life-threatening emergency is ongoing in the western United States. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The situation involving destructive attacks from giant cat-like creatures as a result of a virus has spread to other areas. States reporting the virus, as well as attacks from these creatures are Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. These creatures are only getting larger by the minute, as reports are coming, in reporting enormous cats towering above the many city skylines in the United States as the fires from the attacks light up the night sky. Containment of these creatures is almost impossible due to their massive size. At this time, all residents of the western United States that are experiencing these attacks must evacuate the area immediately to the north and east, where no attacks have been reported as of this broadcast. This is a mandatory order. Sheltering in place is not an option, as these creatures can crush and topple any structure in their line of sight. Contraflow has been enacted to reduce grid locking, and all lanes of traffic are now directed away from these event zones. Any residents that are receiving this broadcast, that are not in the western United States, are to also evacuate, but is not under mandatory order to do so. When you evacuate, take food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio. Tie a white or bright colored towel to your mailbox or porch light, to signify that you have paid the evacuation order. If you need assistance, call your authorities for assistance. Stay tuned for emergency updates on this dangerous situation. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS Operating Handbook for a national-level emergency. The President of the United States or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. 
This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is KUDV. We will continue to serve the Salt Lake City, Utah area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Salt Lake City, Utah area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We We interrupt our regular programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming operations have been discontinued during this emergency. This is KUDV. This station will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Salt Lake City, Utah area. If you are not in the Salt Lake City, Utah area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. Please pay close attention to this emergency broadcast, as this pertains to a national emergency that is currently ongoing. A national state of emergency has been declared at this time. At around midnight Pacific Standard Time, reports of a virus, now dubbed as Morphosis felinus, as well as attacks from extremely large cats, have been reported in all 50 states. These cats are causing unprecedented damage across the United States. In addition, these creatures have been reported in portions of Canada and Mexico. At this time, it is believed that these creatures are to wander the entirety of the planet. This is expected to occur in the next eight hours. At this time, all residents of the United States are ordered to seek shelter underground, as there is nowhere to run. The continent is in extreme danger of going under to these creatures. Take several weeks worth of supplies to last you and your family during this emergency. Do not go outside, as these creatures can always see you, even when they are not visible in your line of sight. Have a battery-powered radio, but turn the volume down, so these creatures are unable to track you down. It is believed that the President, the Vice President, and their immediate families are leaving Washington, D.C. for an undisclosed location. Please await a message from the President, as he is expected to address the emergency in the next 30 minutes. We interrupt your programming. This is a global emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is KUDV. We will continue to serve the Salt Lake City, Utah area. 
If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Salt Lake City, Utah area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our regular programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming operations have been discontinued during this emergency. This is KUDV. This station will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Salt Lake City, Utah area. If you are not in the Salt Lake City, Utah area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I say again, this is not a test. Please listen to this alert, as this alert contains news that will be very hard to comprehend. A global state of emergency has been declared. As of this broadcast, everyone on the planet is in extreme danger. The cat-like creatures that were wreaking havoc on North America have spread their reach to the entirety of the Earth. Every single country across the planet has reported these creatures. Unprecedented and apocalyptic damage has been reported far and wide as the creatures traverse the Earth. There is no way to stop these creatures from causing unprecedented damage, and the outcome of humanity is very bleak. Our chances of survival are infinitesimal. Horrifying sightings of cats over 600 feet in height, as well as blood-curdling shrieks and roars can't be seen and heard as this horrible event unfolds. The only way to get into your survival is to seek shelter as far underground or as secluded as possible. No other protection is sufficient enough to guarantee the continuation of humanity's existence. This event is expected to become an extinction-level event. At this time, all citizens of the world are free to do as they wish. There is very little reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode. The government has selected a verse from religious scripture to be played one final time to the American people. Revelation 1, 18. I'm the living one. I was dead, and now look, I'm alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. Please stand by as we conclude this broadcast. May God bless you, and may God bless America. This concludes our broadcast.